Hi guys, this is Prompt Engineer and in this video, we are going to look at 14 use cases or apps, web apps that you must know and that you can easily create using Streamlit. First is generate tweets. So you can create an app where you can generate tweets. For example, we have inserted a topic AI, mood is funny and generate text. So it will generate this text and regenerate text or if you like to regenerate the image so there is an image so text and image both will be available just with this input these two inputs and optionally to copy the style copy of the famous twitter handles next is pretty map this will give you a beautiful map of a real area in your country in your place and this is so much beauty to work on restaurant you can name your chef for example this and for example persian food you can get the recipe so this is an app you can create using streamlit let it run for some time and let's see the results for a persian food hmm, looks good beef and potato pancakes next up it's semantic shakespeare so you can insert the query here for example love and search for the number of loves place that has been that is available with us today next is the background removal i'm sure you have seen these websites on the internet and now you can create your own using streamlit the next is hospital handover report. So you can create such beautiful reports and graphs using Streamlit. The next is COVID-19 data reporting. So the same thing, you can create different reports, daily incidences and different graphs, and it's, little, and it's so much interesting. Migration table, <clears throat> for example, the state movement here, migration table, you can just plot it here, and the diagrams, beautiful. GitHub stars, number of stars for these languages, static site generator popularity. So such kind of bar charts, it's easy. Python stat. You want to learn, for example, quantitative stats. Here we are. You want to learn about students, t-test, chi-square, ANOVA, analysis of variance. You want to learn about linear regression. So there you are. You can create an app for the students, for example, and sell it. Activation functions. This is ReLU. You want to learn about, for example, logistic sigmoid function. So this is a sigmoid function. So you can create a module. If you are a professor, you can create a module and share it with your students for them to learn. Next is gradient descent. You want to understand what gradient descent is so you can create an app for that monte carlo to estimate the pi so you can create a monte carlo simulation here now in order to learn all these you need to learn the streamlit but streamlit has an app that has been created with 30 days of inputs for you to learn and you can go through each day and complete the exercises and that will make you a good user of Streamlit and you will be able to learn everything that is required in Streamlit if you follow these 30 days challenge thing. Now I have followed this 30 days of learning with Streamlit and it has been a phenomenal journey and I'm on my way to creating very good apps uh, for myself and for my friends. So there you are. Let's get started. Let's see the links. I will attach the links in the description and get started today to learn this beautiful web app developer that will make your web apps deployment so easier. That you are not going to believe that. So let's get started and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.